By installing decorative VJ panelling, you can create a stylish wooden panel feature wall in any room. The purpose of creating a feature wall is to add interest to a room through texture, contrast and colour. You'll be surprised to see how big an impact this simple DIY renovation project can make. In this video, I'm going to show you the 5 steps needed to create a wooden panel feature wall in the bedroom. It's an easy and simple project that has improved the style of this room a lot. If you enjoy the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. Thanks for watching. The first step of the project is to prepare the wall that will have the VJ lining panels installed. We are going to go through and remove everything from the wall. This will leave us with a nice flat surface to install the panels. This includes removing the timber shelf, the mirror, timber trims, skirting and the old vents. Don't forget to find and mark the timber stud locations in the wall. This will be used to nail into. The second step is to measure the sheets to the correct size, mark and then cut the top neatly. The sheet will be measured to finish 10mm from the floor and 3mm from the corners. I'll also leave a 6mm space between the internal wall for expansion. I'll cut the sheet to the correct angle to allow for the rake ceiling. The top of the sheet will be exposed below the corners, therefore this cut needs to be perfect. I'll use my track saw to achieve a clean cut and finish smooth with a light sand. I'll transfer the stud positions from the wall onto my VJ sheets and mark the nail locations. Then I'm ready to move on to step 3. The third step is to glue and install the VJ sheets into position. First, I'll apply a generous amount of flexible adhesive to the wall for the sheet to stick to. Don't forget to mark and transfer the stud locations before the glue goes onto the wall. I then place the sheet on top of 10mm packers and check it's fitting perfectly in the correct location. I want the sheet to fit with a parallel space of 3mm under the corners. Once I'm happy with how the sheet is fitting, I use a fit out nail gun to fix the sheet into position at 500mm centres. If you don't have a nail gun, just use 40mm bullet head nails. I'm using the timber frame and nail set out locations I pre-marked onto the sheets earlier. I'll now repeat steps 2 and 3 until all the remaining sheets are installed into location. Also, remember to always use a dust mask and safety glasses when cutting. When installing the VJ panelling sheets together, leave a 1.5mm gap for expansion. Glue and nail the last sheet into place and make sure to leave a 5mm expansion gap between the sheet and the internal wall intersection. Once I've finished nailing off the final sheet, it's time to move on to step 4. Do a quick clean up, then reattach the skirting and timber trims. The final step is to paint the VJ panelling and timber trims any colour you like. I'm using a white acrylic paint called Grayscale for the VJ lining boards. I'm using a white semi-gloss enamel for the skirting. This project is almost complete. I'll just finish cutting in the final coat of paint. Lastly, I'll install a couple of pictures to add some extra colour and contrast to the bedroom feature wall. The wood panel feature wall of this bedroom is now finished. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I really hope you got something from it. And why not watch these other videos I've previously made? Don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button.